Hey everyone, Christine here from Serendipity as always. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this glorious sweater. This one is a size 12 to 24 months. I'm showing you how to make exactly this size, but if you want to get all the sizes, you can refer to the written pattern. You're going to need a size 8mm hook, a 6.5mm hook, a 4mm hook, and some worsted weight yarn. For the sweater, I used soft and sleek, but in the tutorial, I'm going to be using Impeccable from Michaels. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your yarn and your 8mm hook. And you're going to just, you know, create a slip knot to start because we're going to... See, it's an 8mm hook. I'm done. <laughs> it's an 8mm hook, okay? So now we're just going to um, create our slip knot and we're going to do a foundation single crochet chain of... 36. So put your slip knot on your hook. I'm just going to go over real quick how to make a foundation single crochet. I like using these because they're a lot stretchier. So chain two. I'm going to insert your hook into the first chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. That gives you your first foundation single crochet. Now you're just going to insert your hook into this loop down here. This is like the chain, so insert your hook in there. You're going to have two loops on your hook like that. Yarn over and pull through a loop. And then yarn over, pull through one. And then yarn over and pull through the last two. And that gives you your second foundation single crochet. You keep doing that until you have 36. So insert your hook into that space again. Or the next one anyways. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through one. Then yarn over and pull through two. So we've got three. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that space. Yarn over and pull through a loop. Yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through two. And then you're just going to keep doing this until you have, actually just go until you have 35. And then I will meet you back here to show you how to finish it and join it in the round. So just keep going like this until you have 35 foundation single crochets. And then, like I said, we're going to join it together. So... Keep on going. All right. So just keep going and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I chained. Did a foundation single crochet of 35. Now we're going to do the last one together. So insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull through a loop. Now we're going to stop here. We're going to find our first foundation single crochet. And wrap it around. So we're joining it right here. You're going to go into that very bottom of the very first foundation single crochet. So insert your hook in there. And then yarn over and pull through. And then it'll be a slip stitch, so I'll just pull through one. Now we're going to pull through the last two. And then join with a slip stitch to the top of your first foundation single crochet. Now we're ready to work in the round. And it looks really small, but it's actually really <laughs> stretchy. So don't fear, it'll fit over the baby's head the toddler's head so we're good okay now we are ready to start working round one so chain one 
yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop three times. So you have a total of seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first six loops, then yarn over and pull through the last two. That's your first puff stitch. Now we are going to chain one, skip one, and in the next stitch we're going to work another puff. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop three times. You'll have a total of seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first six loops, yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Puff stitch number two is done. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. Yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop three times. Yarn over and pull through the first six, yarn over and pull through the remaining two, chain one and skip one. Puff stitch in the next. Chain one. There's four, we need five. So chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. chain one, skip one. Okay, so now we got to work our corner. So we're gonna skip one and then in the next, we're gonna work a corner. So you're gonna puff stitch, yarn over and insert your hook, yarn over and pull through a loop three times, yarn over, pull through six, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna chain two, one, and two, and now we're gonna puff stitch in the same stitch. Okay. Now we're gonna chain one and skip one. And puff stitch in the next. Now this is our um, arm side, so on this side we're going to want two puff stitches. So that's one, chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. Okay, that's two. So now we're going to work another corner, chain one, skip one, and we're going to work a corner in this. So puff stitch, chain two, and puff stitch in the same stitch. Okay, that's our second corner. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next stitch. And for this side, which is the back of your sweater or front, whichever way you wear it, um, we are gonna have five puff stitches. So that's one, 
chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. That's three. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. That's four. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. This is number five. Now we're going to work another corner, so one, two, three, four, five, there's five puff stitches. Chain one, skip one, and then put a corner in the next stitch. So it's a puff stitch, chain two, and then puff stitch in the same stitch. Okay, that's corner number three. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch in the next. Now we're only going to have two puff stitches on this side since it is the arm side of your sweater. So that's number two. Chain one, skip one, and work another puff stitch in the same stitch as your first puff stitch. So that will be our fourth corner, or our first corner, whichever way you look at it. So puff stitch in there. And instead of chaining two, we're going to join with a double crochet to the top of your first puff stitch. So just do a double crochet to the top. And this will set us up to work the next round right in the middle of that chain space in your first puff stitch there. So this is what it should look like, round one. And then round two, we're going to work together, but this is how it should look right now. See, you're set up to begin working your first puff stitch in that chain two space. Okay, now we're ready to begin round two. So we're already here in our chain space of our corner, so we're going to just chain one and work half of our next corner into this stitch. So chain one and one puff stitch in this corner space here. Good. Now chain one skip your puff stitch and in the next chain one space you're going to work a puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch and in the chain one space work another puff stitch. chain one, skip one, and in the next chain one space work another puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next puff, and in the chain one space work another puff stitch.
chain one, skip the puff stitch in the chain one space, work another puff stitch. Chain one, skip the puff stitch in the next chain one space, work another puff stitch. Okay, chain one, skip the puff stitch of the next corner. So in the chain two space, you're gonna work a corner puff stitch. So you'll put two uh, puff stitch in the chain two space. And then you will chain two. And then you will work another puff stitch in the chain two space. Perfect. Now chain one, skip the next puff stitch. And in the chain one space, you're gonna work a puff stitch. Chain one, skip the puff stitch. In the chain one space, you work a puff stitch. Chain one, skip the puff stitch. In the next chain one, chain one space, you're gonna work a puff stitch. So each side will increase by one puff stitch. Remember your last uh, shoulder side had two, this side has one, two, three puff stitches. So remember that, each side will increase by one. So chain one, skip the puff stitch, and in the chain two space, we're gonna work a corner puff stitch. So that's a puff stitch, followed by a chain two, and another puff stitch in that same chain two space. Okay, chain one, skip the puff stitch, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch and work a corner puff stitch in the next chain two space, which is a puff stitch followed by a chain two, and then another puff stitch in the same chain two space. Now you're gonna chain one, skip the next puff stitch, and puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch, and puff stitch in the next chain one space.
chain one, skip the next puff stitch, and then puff stitch in the next chain one space. Now we're up to our first corner, so we're going to work the last half of that. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and in that same space as your beginning puff stitch, work another puff stitch. And then just like before, we're going to not chain two. We're going to join with a double crochet to the top of our first puff stitch. And that is the end of round two. So now you just repeat the same thing you did for round two for rounds three, four, and five exactly the same way. You're going to work one puff stitch in each chain one space and then a corner puff stitch in each chain two space. So a corner puff stitch here and then chain one skip one puff stitch, puff stitch, puff stitch in all the chain one spaces and then a corner puff stitch in the chain two space and then you're going to put a puff stitch in each chain one space with chain ones in between them just like you did before. Corner puff stitch in the chain two space. And then a puff stitch. And then each side, like I said, will increase by one puff stitch. So on your shoulder sides, you will have four for the next round, and then five, and so on. So just do another three rounds, and I will meet you back to show you how I close up the armholes. So we did rounds one and two together. Now I'll do rounds three, four, and five exactly the same way as you did round two. Okay, so I have finished all five rounds. Now we are going to work on closing the armholes. So as you can see, the longer sides are the front and the back of your sweater, and the sh uh, shorter sides are going to be where your armholes are. So we're going to work across and then we are going to join at the corners to create our armholes. Okay, so to begin, you're going to begin the same way as before, just by chaining one and creating a puff stitch in that same space. And then chain one, skip the puff stitch, and puff stitch in the next chain one space. And we're going to do that all the way across. So puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, and puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the puff stitch, puff stitch in the next chain one space. Just do that all the way across till you get to the next corner. chain one. Okay, we're at the corner. So in the corner, we are going to just work one puff stitch here. And 
And then we're going to chain one. And now we're going to fold our this corner and the next corner together so we can work our next puff stitch in the next corner. So we're skipping all of these um, puff stitches and spaces in between. And this will create your armhole. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. So yes, just create a puff stitch in the next corner space. And then there you have it. You have an armhole. And this is where we're going to work our sleeve onto later. So now you're just going to chain one and work across this side of your sweater until you get to the next corner space. So chain one skip the next puff stitch and then puff stitch in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch, puff stitch in the next chain one space. And just do this all the way across until you get to the next corner. Okay, we're at the next corner. So same as before, you're just going to work one puff stitch in here in the chain two space. And then instead of chaining um, one to join, we are going to join with a half double crochet now to the top of our first puff stitch. So this will act as our chain one space here. So we're going to join with a half double crochet to the top of your first puff stitch. So skip all those stitches in between to create your armhole and then join with a half double crochet. And that is the end of our armhole, closing our armhole round. So now we're going to begin working on the torso. And I will work round one of the torso with you. Okay, we're ready to work round one of the torso. In order to do that, you're going to just work in the round, but basically the same way as you were doing before. So just chain one, and in this first space you created over here, you're going to puff stitch. Um, 
and then same as before just chain one skip the next puff stitch and put a puff stitch in the chain one space chain one skip the next puff stitch puff stitch in the next chain one space and you just do that all the way around Okay, we're at this spot where we uh, joined our armholes, but there was a chain one there, so remember to work a puff stitch in there as well. I'm sorry if you hear the birds, I'm outside. <laughs> okay, and then just keep going. Chain one, skip the next puff stitch and puff stitch in the next chain one space. Okay, this is our last puff stitch right here. So instead of chaining one, we're just going to join with a half double crochet to the top of our first puff stitch. And that's the end of round one of your torso. So to begin the next round, you're going to do the same as before, just chain one and work a puff stitch in that same space, then chain one, skip the next puff stitch, puff stitch in the chain one space, and you're going to do that all the way around just like you did with this round one. So you're going to keep going and you are going to work five more rounds for a total of six rounds in your torso. And then once you have that finished, I will meet you back here to show you how I work the waistband. Okay, so I did all six rounds of my torso. Now we're gonna work the waistband. So what you're gonna need to do is take out your eight millimeter hook. We're gonna switch to our six and a half millimeter hook now. 
also known as the K hook. So we're switching to a six and a half millimeter hook for the waistband. Put that in there. Now we're gonna chain two and double crochet in this same chain space and then double crochet in the puff stitch and then double crochet in the next chain one space double crochet in the next puff stitch double crochet in the next chain one space double crochet in the next puff stitch. So you, for this round, you're just double crocheting in every chain one space and puff stitch round. So yeah, you just do that all the way around, putting one double crochet in each chain one space and in each puff stitch all the way around. And this is what it's starting to look like. So just do that all the way around and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we, I went all the way around with my double crochets and now I'm gonna join to the top of the very first double crochet with a slip stitch. So for round two of our waistband, we are going to chain two, or no, just chain one. And then front post double crochet around the first double crochet. And then double crochet in the next double crochet. And then front post double crochet around the next one. And then double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet in the next stitch. So for this round you can see the repeat is just front post double crochet and then double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet. You're just going to do that all the way around. So front post double crochet in this next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that's our repeat for this round. If you want to continue doing that all the way around, and I will meet you back. Okay, so I did all the way around. I ended with a double crochet. Now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of my first front post double crochet. And that's the end of round two. Now we're going to work round three of our waistband. For round three, you're going to chain one and front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. And then you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. And front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And double crochet in the next double crochet. I'm sure you are seeing the repeat for this round already. <laughs> front post around the next front post. And double crochet in the next double crochet. Or in the next double crochet. Front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Double crochet in the next double crochet.
front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet and then you just keep repeating that all the way around front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet you do that all the way around for round three of the waistband Okay, so just keep going all the way around just like that for round three, and I will meet you back. Okay, so I finished my last stitch. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of our first front post double crochet. And that was the end of round three. So now all you're going to do is repeat round three seven more times. Seven more times? Yeah, you should have a total of 10 rounds in your waist band. So do that, and I will meet you back here. Do a total of 10 rounds. Okay, so I did a total of 10 rounds, and I fastened off, and now we're ready to begin working on our sleeves. Yay! Okay, so we're going to need our 8mm hook again, so get that, and then open up your sleeve, and you can see at this armpit area where we joined our sleeves together, you got this one single little puff stitch here in the middle. We're going to work a puff stitch on either side of this, on both sides of this I should say. So. This is where we're going to join to, right here. Okay, so get your yarn, create a slip knot, and then join with a slip stitch to this area right here. I'm just going to tuck this inside so it's not in my way. Okay. Now we're going to chain one and work a puff stitch right here in this space. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to work a puff stitch in like the area where our chain two space was from that corner so you can locate it by you know seeing where your puff v stitches are and you can see that that's the chain two space right there so that's where we're going to put our next puff stitch so oh did i chain one or two chain one <laughs> and then work a puff stitch right there. Okay, now we're just gonna work all the way around like we did before with our torso. Just chain one, skip the puff stitch, and work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. chain one, skip the next puff stitch, work a puff stitch in the next chain one space. And just do that all the way around for the sleeve.
Okay, now we're at our little chain two space from like our corner that we worked. So put a puff stitch in there. And then chain one. And then we're gonna work one more puff stitch on like this opposite side right here of our armpit area. So on this side of that puff stitch. So work one more puff stitch right there. <clears throat> and then instead of chaining one, we are just gonna join with a half double crochet to the top of our first puff stitch. So half double crochet in the top of that very first puff stitch, the puff stitch. And that is round one of your sleeve. Now we're going to do just like we did before, like on our torso. We're going to work in the round just like before. Chain one puff stitch in that same space chain one skip a puff stitch puff stitch in the next chain one space chain one skip the puff stitch and puff stitch in the next chain one space And then you're just going to do that all of the way around, just like you did on your torso. You just work in the round like you did before. And you're going to do that for a total of 12 rounds. So you're going to have 12 rounds of puff stitches like this for your sleeve. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wanted to show you that, how many puff stitches there are. So I'm just going to take this out real quick. And let's count. <laughs> there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven puff stitches around for your sleeve. Okay, so just do twelve rounds. All right, I did twelve rounds. And now we're ready to begin working the band of our sleeve. So we're going to take out our eight millimeter hook. And now we're going to switch to our four millimeter hook for the sleeve band. And the sleeve band is worked exactly the same way as our waistband was. Just we're using a four millimeter hook instead. So chain two double crochet in that first space, double crochet in the next puff stitch, double crochet in the next chain one space, double crochet in the next puff stitch, double crochet in the next chain one space, and then you just do that all the way around same way as you did your waistband. Double crocheting in each chain one space and in each puff stitch all the way around. So you should have a total of 22 double crochets in this round.
Okay, here's our last. We did our last stitch, and now we're going to join with a slip stitch the top of our first double crochet. Okay, <clears throat> that's round one of our sleeve band. Now we're going to do round two exactly the same way we did round two of the waistband. So you're just going to chain one. And front pulse double crochet around the first stitch and double crochet in the next stitch front pulse double crochet around the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch Front pulse double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And then you just do that all the way around just like you did before for the waistband. Okay, so I finished round two. And now we're just going to slip stitch to join to our very first front post double crochet. So slip stitch. And then we're going to work round three the same way we worked round three of our waistband. So chain one, front post double crochet around the first front post double crochet. Double crochet in the next double crochet. front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet and you just do that all the way around Okay, I'm at the end of round three. Just gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of my first front post double crochet. And then I, that's the end of round three. And now we're just gonna work two more rounds the same way as round three. So we're gonna have a total of five rounds. Okay, I worked my two more rounds my, for a total of five rounds in my sleeve band. Now I'm just going to fasten off and our first sleeve is done. And then you're just going to do exactly the same thing for your second sleeve. Same way as you did that one. And then your sweater will be complete and you can weave in your ends. And that's, there you have it. That's how you do it. So cute. Oh yeah, I've decided I'm going to call this um, Embrace the Change Sweater, just because it's a good transition sweater from, you know, spring to fall to winter. It's a, it's a good sweater. So, um, this is the size. 
12 to 24 months or 1 to 2. You can get all the other sizes in the written pattern, which is available in my Etsy shop, which I will have linked below. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you guys. Mm.